If you're looking to take a step back in history, well, you're in luck. Maryland's largest, most comprehensive Civil War museum with all the official historical artifacts is up and running at the Maryland Historical Society in Baltimore. With the 150th anniversary and the fact that the first bloodshed of the war is on April 19th, 1861 on Pratt Street, it was the moment, again, it was the big anniversary of the war to bring out this collection and and exhibit it, um, something that we have not done in decades. We had had a Confederate room at one point many decades ago, a Union room. They were merged, and then for at least uh, three decades, you had no, virtually no Civil War artifacts on view in any large quantity, but we do have one of the finest collections in the country. The exhibit features over 5,000 feet of tell-all stories, authentic period attire, 3D video, and interactive demonstrations outlining the adventurous yet patriotic foundation of our country. I felt like I lot of learned a, a lot of things about Baltimore and its history from what happened on Pratt Street, from what happened with Lincoln, and what happened about the slaves. Maryland sent over 60,000 men to serve in the Union Army, but as historians say, the actual alliance of Maryland residents during this time was swayed. So we're incredibly fortunate in that we have rare examples of things, sometimes in some instances the only example of artifacts that are left, particularly Confederate artifacts, which is a insight into the leanings of Maryland during the war. Even though we were divided, um, we were officially in the Union, but when you look at the artifacts that came to us from these veterans, they're largely Confederate. The Historical Society says most of the artifacts were donated from local families. A quality Tayshan who's visiting the exhibit on a class trip, thinks is simply remarkable. It was really interesting to know about what they used back then compared to what we use now. I wanted to learn more about the history of slavery that happened inside like the areas that we live in now, and we want to learn this history about it just in case for the future. Now this is the largest exhibit in the society's 167-year history. It's open Wednesdays through Sundays, and more information can be found on mdhs.org. In Baltimore, I'm Tahira Lindsay for CTV News.